my name is Ben. I'm Devin. And I'm Brett. Today we will be talking to you about molecular gastronomy. Molecular gastronomy is adding chemicals to an ingredient to create a chemical reaction through an acid and a base, changing the molecular structure of the food. We first added sugar, corn syrup, and water and brought it to 300 degrees. Then we next added baking soda to it to create the molecular gastronomy. Later we poured it and let it harden and then ate it. It was great. We are now making sponge toffee. We will be combining this sugar, which is great for when you're on a diet. <laughs> corn syrup. And water and bring it to a temperature of 300 degrees. Yeah. We are lining the casserole dish with parchment, with paper. parchment paper. So we are in the middle of making our sponge toffee right now. Looks like it's coming along well. Okay, go, go, go. We're adding baking soda to the hot sugar. We're going to give it a good stir. That's how it does it. And by adding the base to an acid, we get a reaction, molecular gastronomy. Product we made were cookies. We are taking this homemade batch of cookies and making it a very healthy batch of cookies using chia seeds, which are high in omega 3 fatty acids and are essentially brain food. Oh look, they're done. <laughs> they look good, guys. Nice, delicious. Mm. This is the And here are the cookies. A healthy alternative to normal cookies with that chai seed. Chia seed. <laughs> Chia seed is great brain food and contains omega-3 fatty acids. He's like, oh, and, I'm, and then he's like, he's like, what seeds? I'm like, chia seeds. And then he's like, what are chia seeds good for? I'm like, the mind. And he's like, what is good for the mind? It's omega-3. And our final creation of the day was crispy corn pudding taken from the modernist cuisine. We uh, have some milk boiling and we have popcorn boiling in it and we are going to bring it to a steep and let it sit for 30 minutes. <laughs> this is frozen dehydrated corn and we left it overnight in the oven at the lowest temperature possible. After we pulverize the corn, we're going to put in an equal amount of panko breadcrumbs. We've steeped the popcorn milk for 30 minutes and now we're going to liquefy it. We're uh, taking out all the husks by straining it. Uh, right now we're adding 
our 300 bloom gelatin to our popcorn milk mixture. Our final product will be a lot creamier and a lot smoother than normal gelatin. Go. Let's go. Go. We uh, poured our mixture into a Tupperware container and now we are going to stick it in the fridge and let it solidify. This is our breading station. First, this is white flour. This is egg. <laughs> and now we have fresh corn that has been dehydrated and mixed with breadcrumbs. This is our milk and popcorn mixture that has been jellified. Oh, now I'm putting it in the egg. We're doing this once or twice? Twice, we are double breading it. It's now covered in egg. Now I'm putting it in our breading mixture. Oh, Don't don't toss it like that because you know, that's where you're stuck. So now try and scoop it up nice and slow. Don't be afraid. There you go. Okay. 